Alright, Sean here from Pauline Brothers and I'm right now in the cul-de-sac of Javois Roads because I'm going to show you guys a 3 bedder unit right here at Mont Javois. Well renovated and if there's someone that wants to keep the price quantum below that $2.9 million marks for this spacious layout, then we do stay tuned as we bring you along this home tour. Let's go! Alright, so welcome into the unit itself. We're actually looking towards the internal pool facing right here in Mont Javois and it's just at the right height that you do get a sense of privacy thanks to these greenery trees. As we're fronting towards the pool, there is also a sense of serenity when we're staying down here. So we are located right on the cul-de-sac road of Javois Road, right beside the Chatsworth GCB area, as well as a lot of embassies that are located right beside us. We can also see Great World City as well as Orchard Road, just a short drive away from us. Now if you don't drive, that's also fine because our development itself is also a six minutes walk away from the nearest bus stop and that's going to bring you to different parts of Singapore such as your CBD areas, your Alkang areas, as well as even your Jurong East areas right when you're staying down here. So Mon Javois itself is 109 units with a lease start date at 2012 and the project itself completed in 2016. Low density project with the highest level right here on level 5. You still get to enjoy tons of facilities down here such as your swim pool, your jacuzzi, your gymnasium. There's even a putting green barbecue pavilion as well as your children and kids playground right here for you. And there's also basement level parking. So as we look at the different floor plans that you can find here in Mont Javois, there are also the 1004 as well as 1005 square feet layout types in terms of the three bedders. In terms of their functional areas, they are just about the same because all of the layouts includes three bedrooms, a kitchen, a yard, a utility right at the back. It's just all about the difference in terms of the matter of the size when we look to compare here as well. Now at the same time, if we were to look at some of the stack facings of the three bedders, they have of course reserved some of the better layouts and the larger layout formats to be facing towards the internal pool view facing right over here. So where our stack actually stands out is that we not only faces towards the internal pool view facing but the furthest away towards Gervais Road. So if you're someone that wants a little bit more efficient layout and you want to keep that price quantum towards a palatable region and you want to have the same level of functionality in terms of spaces then definitely the 1,003 square feet, the one that we're standing in here today is going to be something very interesting for you. So as I'm stepping into our unit here, this is a 1389 square feet 3 bedder layout. Extremely squarish and functional. So you can get to see about a 3 meter distance from your sofa towards your TV areas down here. So providing you with comfortable distance, this is going to be a natural 3.2 meter ceiling height, including the 4 ceiling that is down here. And of course, it's a landscape design towards the balcony areas. So as we're standing right here in the communal areas, the floorings are completely cladded with marble floorings. There's also been renovations that's done up right here on the TV feature wall side with a bit of cove lighting as well as storage spaces that's right below us. There are also two aircon systems that's going to be cooling down this area right here and you can even fit a larger size L sofa shape that's right here to host your friends and families and you have additional window space that's located just right in this portion down here. So I think the space wise is naturally going to be very bright and very airy here for you. As we step onto the balconies areas down here, there's also going to be huge sliding doors here for you just to enclose the living room area space. Now this is done up by the developers and you can also see their owners have installed invisible grill as well as zip tracks right here for you. The cost of the zip tracks will be at $6,000. So if you need a little bit more shade or you want to extend this usability of this area, so you can actually pull down your zip tracks. Now this area is also large enough to fit like a four-seater dining area. So if you want a little bit more alfresco dining, this is the absolute perfect spot. Now owners have also maintained this as a kids play area, so I think it's fantastic for that. Now as we head on over towards the dining space, there is also this really beautiful tabletop that has already been done up here. You won't find this on the original developer's floor plan. You can comfortably sit in a one, two, three, four, five, six people that's sitting down here. And it's even stretching all the way towards that front entrance floor here for you. Right behind me, there's also going to be tons of carpentry spaces for your kitchen needs as well as some of your storage needs when you're staying down in this space. So as we head on back, this is where the dry kitchen is located. You have your sink area that is down here. And developers have also done up a microwave system as well as the oven system. So storage spaces, of course, are plenty. And you also have a space for a two-door fridge. Let's just count, right? One, two, three, four, five. Five open flame stove fit for a chef. You also have storage spaces on the bottom right here. There's even storage spaces right on the top portion here as well. You can even have a space to stack up a washer and dryer here. There's even top hum carpentry that's down here. As we head on back, this is going to be where your helper's room are going to be located at. Helpers bathroom that's located right here. So this is a full-fledged bathroom. You can also explore to do a styling system that's down here 
and you also have natural ventilations to help you to dry your clothes. So right beside the kitchen space is going to be where your foyer area is located at. Our unit over here is also going to be a corner unit, so there's not going to be much neighbors that's walking past you. Now this is also a perfect space for you to do up a couple of your shoe carpentry spaces down here. You can even do up additional carpentry space just for you to put up your keys or your family photos right on over here. There's also going to be storage spaces right below here. So the carpentry spaces really is a plenty. So you can also put a couple of your car keys or house keys right here and just grab them before you head on up. Right now, stepping into the first common bedroom space here, I think you're gonna love this area because we have a full height glass panel window that fronts towards this really nice pool view that's down here. A little bit of northeast facing direction, predominantly north, so you won't get any afternoon sun that's coming in, just your morning sun and a little bit of breeze from the northern winds. And it still offers a lot of light that's coming into this room. Now I can see our owners have actually done this up. It's more of a study room as well as a little bike room that's down here. Now you can also choose to do up a queen size bed that's fitted in this location here and you still have a space for a study desk. And there's also a four panel wardrobe spaces right here for you. And just to also let you know, this is actually a 3.3 meter ceiling height. Pretty rare because you do not need to stay on top floors just to enjoy this extra level of ceiling height. So let's head over and have a look at the next common bedroom. Towards the next common bedrooms, our owners have done it as a daughter's room, small bed that's fitted right here, as well as a couple of the toys. There's also two panels of water spaces that stretches all the way to the top, the additional four panels that are just on top here. For this size of layouts, you can also choose to do it like a loft unit that's fitted just right over here. So you can also choose to do a loft because of the 3.2 meter ceiling height that you can get to enjoy. Same views as well, we get to see a full fledge window panels that is down here that's fronting towards the pool. And beside us is actually gonna be where your master room balcony is located. So we're gonna show you guys that in just a bit but before that let me show you where the common bathrooms look at that so the common bathroom is also cladded with marble floorings all the way from the foyer area even on the wall areas as well so you have a full fledged bathroom area standing showers your sink with mirror storages as well as bottom storages here for you and a WC and most importantly window ventilation so that's going to help you dispel all the moistures that you need I think just a very luxurious bathroom that services not only your guests but these two common bedroom areas as well so let's check out the master room So master room side splits into two different portions over here. You have, of course, your walk-in wardrobe space, but we're going to have a look at the rest areas first. Amazingly big because you can fit like a king-size bed. You still have space for two side tables that is done up here. And you still have a space for like a TV console with a flat screen TV that you can fit down here. Ceiling height maintains as 3.3 meters. So let's also have a look at the master ensuite here. Walk-in wardrobe space that's fitted down here. So four panels here for you as well as additional top hung carpentry space. Now as we're standing into the master ensuite, you can also see that the layer here slightly different from the common bathroom because you have additional bathtub as well as a standing shower that's located here. Storage spaces have also expanded. You have two mirror storages right behind here as well as four panels of water spaces down right below as well as a sink area. Window ventilator as well so it just helps you to dispel out some of the moisture. Now the glass that's fronting towards the master bedroom has also been frosted up just for additional level of privacy here and this has also been done with a different design of marble just to distinguish between the common as well as the master ensuite. So balcony is also pretty unique because it is actually not connecting to any of the living room's balcony areas and you just have this private enclosure, the special grills here that are done up by the developers here as well. Really nice unique designs from Bon Jovois and at the same time you can also fit in like an outdoor two-seater sofa that is down here and additional seater sofa that is right here and then just a separate different space from the living area so I think it's just really perfect for that. Views wise is similar, you're going to front towards the internal pool view facing and just across that is going to be of course Jovois Road which we just mentioned to you, it's a car de sac lane so it's not going to be a lot of cars that's passing by here so that's awesome Alright, so let us also move on in terms of the pricing analysis right here in Mont Jovois. If we look at our unit right here, we're standing at a size of 1389 square feet, $2.85 million, just hovering above the 2000 per square foot ranges. Now, this is something that's going to be very attractive because if we look at some of the OCI as well as RCR new launches pricing, they are already exploring the per square foot ranges of around 2000 all the way to 2005, 2006 per square foot in the RCI region here as well. Now, some of the three bidders over there are going to have asking price of around $2.5 to $2.6 million ranges. Now, of course, in our unit right here at 2000 per square 
square foot ranges is definitely going to be something of value here for you. Now, as we look into the D10 areas, some of the freehold options that you're going to be exploring are already going to be asking around the 3, 4, 5, 6 million dollar ranges and upwards depending on the different areas that you're going to explore in the D10 areas. So if you want to keep your price quantum below the 3 million dollar mark, you then have to explore the 99's leasehold option right here. They're highly anticipated Irwell Hill residences that's going to hit its TOP sometime later on. So the sub sale units over there are having asking price around 3 all the way to 4 million dollar ranges for a 1270 square foot 3 bedder size over there and that has an asking per square foot of around 3000 per square foot ranges here. Now coming back to where we are located in Javoy, so the freehold options are also going to be asking around the 3.3 .3 all the way to 3.6 million dollars. Our unit right here is just 2.85 million dollars so it leaves a comfortable per square foot pricing compared to the outer region of Singapore such as your RCI as well as OCI regions. At the same time if you look at the D10 areas, it provides a safe distance towards the freehold counterparts which is almost having that 20% upwards disparity along the freehold counterparts here for you and if you compare some of the 99's lease options that spearheading in terms of the per square foot pricing is still going to be well below those ranges here as well. So in terms of district factors, if you're someone that wants to enter in the district 10 region and you love the Javois street right here and don't want to break the bank, this is definitely something of value that you can explore. Thank you for staying tuned all the way to the end of this video now. I hope you have gotten a great look at this spacious 3 bedroom layout size at 1389 square feet right here at a safe comfortable entry price point of $2.85 million if you want a large floor plate with a sitting height of 3.2 meters. Of course, if you want to have a gorgeous look at this entire home, definitely do contact our listing managers. Their contact details will be in the description box below. Also, do remember to follow us on our Facebook, Instagram as well as TikTok channels. My name is Sean. Robin Brothers, always happy to show you the place. Three, two, one, rolling and action! Just hovering above the 2000 per square foot ranges. Now, if so this space is done additionally, so you won't find this on the original. Oh.